What's going on everybody, IMG Tech in the building, and today I'm going to be bringing you guys a tutorial on how to download the program iTransmission to your device. Now for those of you who don't know what iTransmission is, it's a program that allows you to download torrents directly to your device. So needless to say, this is really handy for those of you that like to torrent movies and things of that nature. Now I'm going to let you guys know that I'm doing this tutorial on an iPod Touch 5th generation running iOS 7, but it really doesn't matter which version of iOS you're running. But worst comes to worst, you can download a specific version of iTransmission to coincide with your version of iOS. So, without any further ado, let's get down to business. Now there are two primary ways to go about downloading iTransmission on your device, and simply enough, one of these methods is for jailbroken devices and the other one is for non-jailbroken devices. But if you are jailbroken and really want to go through the non-jailbroken process, you can but you'll probably be better off just using the Cydia download version that I'm showing you guys right now. Now first we can talk about those of you who are running jailbroken devices and assuming that you all have Cydia, which you probably should if you're jailbroken and that's kind of the whole purpose of doing it in the first place, go ahead and open up Cydia. Let everything load up nice and normally, you don't want to go and cancel any loading of packages. And once everything loads up, go ahead and hit that search tab on the bottom right hand corner and you want to search iTransmission. So that's I-T-R-A-N-S-M-I-S-S-I-O-N and search. And you may have multiple options depending on what sources you have installed, but as you can see I have installed iTransmission 4 because it corresponds with my iOS 7 device. And you guys probably know the drill by now if you're used to Cydia and how it works. Go ahead and hit install and confirm in the top right hand corner. And after everything loads up and boots up, you should have a perfectly functioning iTransmission app on your home screen. So now we can move on to those of you who do not have jailbroken devices. And I apologize for making you guys wait. I'll make sure you get priority next time or something like that. But this method is slightly more involved than the one for jailbroken devices, but it really isn't that much of a hindrance, and it doesn't take too much time. So the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your settings app. And you're going to want to go to general, scroll down to date and time, and you want to set your date back to 2012. It really doesn't matter when in 2012, as long as it is 2012. And if your device's date is not set back to 2012, then the app will not install properly. So once you have that done, go ahead and exit your settings and access whatever web browser you like to use. For this tutorial, I'll be using Chrome. And you want to type into the search bar iosemulatorspot.com slash downloads and you'll come to this page. As you can see, I already have it loaded up. And you want to go ahead and scroll down to iTransmission, hit install, install again, and then after it loads up like Just as a little side note, after your app completely loads up, go back into your device's settings and change your date back to the current date so that all of your downloads and websites correspond with the app itself. I hope this video could help some of you guys out. I thank you all for watching. And if you're not completely sure how to use iTransmission, look out for a video on that soon. And be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe as I could really use you guys' feedback. It's very much appreciated. And I will catch you all in the next one. Later.